Martin here. I'm um, no, getting ready me. for the grilling, but I won't be doing the grilling because that's Mother's job. And two of you guys know I don't see, so I'm not going outside to do anything to be bitten by any anything. But I'm going to season up everything, and she, you guys, gonna watch her grill and do her thing. She does a good job, and Christian is helping me. What, Grandma? With me. Eh? Where is you? Yes. We're doing um deviled eggs. I'm getting ready to put the eggs in the boil. We are, I like chef. This is salmon. Salmon. I have to season this. I like salmon. Yeah, you like salmon. Salmon. And then is I have so shrimp. That I've been doing Cajun shrimp. shrimp. This will be shrimp. going on the um, on the grill. I'll do Cajun shrimp. I'll show you that inside. Yeah. And then I have um yeah. Corn here. Let me wash my hands before I touch the corn. Wash your hands. Yes, you have to wash your hands before you touch it. That's it. It is. Food. That's rude. No, it's not rude. No, it's yes, food. mommy it's a, yeah. It's. <laughs> Don't mind Christian, y'all. I'm holding the camera and he's telling me to stop <laughs> gesturing to him from behind here. <laughs> and then I'll be cleaning all the corn just now. Finish cleaning it because it's halfway clean. What is this? The boil. Or, or the, the these eat. are hot dogs. I have to eat corn. I, I think these are all beef. No, turkey. Was oh, turkey? Yeah. Oh, okay. Turkey hot dogs, turkey burgers. Turkey burgers. Turkey burgers and yeah. then I have. um. The Beyond Burger that I have to season up. These are the Beyond Burgers here. Those are the crispy chicken wings. Crispy chicken is a car good. Crispy. And um, crispy chicken. Crispy chicken. Yeah. The yeah. Beyond Burger, that's a crispy chicken. See, that's the thing I'm telling you guys. I don't see. Getting it all mixed up. What the but, um, heck? That's what we're going to be, be yeah. doing. And I already have the, the rolls and stuff on the table yeah. that I put out. Yeah. So if anybody is diabetic or you can't eat a lot of carbs, these keto bread, they have different brands. Arnold makes them, but this is the keto culture brand. They definitely are good because it's low carb. So you could eat like two buns and still not be at your net. Because if you're diabetic, you know, we're supposed to have 65 uh, grams of carbs per meal. One roll is 17 grams of carbs. So you could have two rolls and still have room, you know, in a meal. So definitely try to eat keto bread if you're trying to watch your sugar, your carb intake, or anything like that. And you can feed up on the, on the protein. And you have a lot of protein. And then as I clear down here, then I'm going to work on the tomatoes and the, the lettuce and the rest of things that we have. And we have our condiments in the middle there. All the different things that we... Some of us eat and some of us don't eat, but as you guys know, I'm diabetic, so I have to be extra careful what I put in my mouth. We have our mustard and our salad dressing and, you know, all the fancy things that you use for condiments. If you would like to, this is Caribbean pepper sauce and your ketchup. Well, what are you excited to eat, Christian? Hot dog. Hot dogs, that's yes, your favorite? Yes, I told him that earlier. <laughs> I said, um, I can't sit with you because I have to go downstairs to start preparing. And he said, preparing what? I said, for dinner. Because your mother and you will go outside on the grill. And he said, what well, you play? I hot dogs. And he sprang up from the bed. Yay! What the? You like hot dogs. You like hot dogs. Hot dogs? Yes. Don't do that. <laughs> All right, so we're going to prepare this stuff and then head out. So we finished the hot dogs, and right now the vegan burgers are on the grill. <clears throat> we actually don't eat beef and pork, unless it's like one or two cultural Hi. dishes, like Guyanese dishes, then we'll, we might put some beef, like some oxtail or some Hi. beef. But for the most part, we don't eat beef or pork. Christian, what are you doing? So we use the Beyond Meat Hi. burgers. We like Beyond Meat better than, than Impossible Meat. So we have that, we have some vegan cheese, and then I also did buy turkey burgers. Hi, Hi we see you. 
<laughs> we also did buy turkey burgers. So the turkey burgers are done. We got the vegan burgers on the grill. And then after this, I'm going to stop grilling because I have to go to the store and get another lighter because we have the small lighters and it's already running out of fluid. Y'all probably see the steam coming off the grill right now. So yeah, after that, it's just the wings, the fish, and the corn. And I got to make the deviled eggs and we're pretty much done. So this is the fast grilling session. You know, some years it takes a long time. But this year, it's going fast. And this is the, we like to use the um, match light coal because you don't need lighter fluid for that. So if you're someone who doesn't really care to use lighter fluid, use the match light coals. I'm going to show it to you actually. Hold on. So we have the Kingsford match light here. I use this or any brand really. Once it says match light, you don't need lighter fluid. You just put it in and you light it and you're good to go. Um, I mean, you could use lighter fluid if you want to take it up a notch, but you really don't need it. And these are the Beyond Meat burgers. So, you know, we got to season our burgers and stuff because what we're not doing is taking them out the pack and slapping them on the grill, you know, and then these are the turkey burgers. So, so we like the Beyond Meat burgers because we're trying to not eat beef and pork. We've been doing pretty good with that for like over a year and a half. So we do Beyond Meat burgers um, and turkey burgers. So, you know, we got the burnt hot dogs, the burnt burgers, period, <laughs> for your cookout foods. Christian was playing basketball. Now he's relaxing. And I'm just waiting for these last two to finish and I'm gonna put the corn and stuff on here. So how are you enjoying the cookout so far, Mom? Hey, you know, it's, hey. it's nice, it's fun. Hey. I, I, I mean, I'm seasoning, I'm not cooking anything. You're the big cook. And Christian is my sous chef, <clears throat> the grumpy sous chef. How are you liking the barbecue? How are you liking it? As you can see, he's grumpy. He's a grumpy, grumpy sous chef. You're not enjoying the cookout? You were playing your basketball, right? He was doing more of that than actually helping me cook. <laughs> True. So my mom is making some Cajun shrimp. Again, nothing too crazy because we're just going to throw some Cajun seasoning on it. We're not about to be doing nothing from scratch <laughs> today. Everything is semi-cooked or, you know, for the most part, pretty simple. So we always put the butter in because I love my shrimp to be buttery. We more so eat the shrimp than my mom. My mom don't, she's not a big seafood person besides fish. Yeah, I don't eat shrimp or like that. And I would eat it two or three, but that's it. And not the others, no. Fish and that's it. So why don't you eat shrimp? Because we, it was never given to us as children. My mother was allergic to, to, to all seafood except fish. She was also allergic to pork, and when I say allergic, she starts, it broke out, her skin broke out. And so my grandmother never tested it to give it to us, because she said she didn't know what would, would happen, and she didn't want to find out. So she never gave us. And when I became an adult, I tried eating it, but I don't have a taste for it. Yeah, Rochelle and I love shrimp, though. Christian, I don't know if he eats shrimp or not. Do you eat shrimp? No. Yeah, all, all, all three of my children <laughs> love shrimp. My grandson, my oldest grandson, always loves shrimp. And they, they eat all kinds of seafood, but not uh, mommy. Yep, so once the butter gets hot, we just throw it in. And these are the extra large shrimp from Walmart. I like extra large shrimp because, you know, the little shrimp is for salad and the medium shrimp is okay, but extra large is the best. So, or jumbo. So we just are going to pour that Cajun seasoning over it and then just let that saute because shrimp does not take long. So, And after that, I just got to crack these eggs, make deviled eggs, and we're done. So we always try to do a little family cookout. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this vlog. If you are, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. You guys have been supporting so much and we have some exciting things coming. But comment down below and let us know if you did anything special for Memorial Day or not. So I'm just stirring the sauce into the wings. This is the sweet chili sauce. And these crispy wings came from Costco. They have sweet chili and then they have another one. But, you know, I, I season the wings a little more. But they come like kind of semi-pre-cooked. So, and I love them on the grill. So now I'm going to make the doubled eggs. We know a doubled egg when we see one. You cut the egg in the middle, pull out the yolks. So everyone kind of puts something different in the yolk mixture. I know some people put sugar, some people put relish and all that. We have different tastes and 
aversions <laughs> in our family. So I just put sea salt, black pepper, paprika, mustard, just regular mustard. I mean, you could put Dijon or whatever if you want, and butter. And I just mix it together, put it all in, and then just fill it in the middle, and that's it. In Guyana, when we make make the um, deviled eggs for parties and weddings and stuff, we put on the finish to finish it. We put just a little piece of parsley and either half or a whole wee wee pepper. If the wee wee peppers are small, then you just take this, this, this stem and stick it into it and it looks very, very pretty. Gives it a nice finish. And sometimes when I'm making the mixture, I put mayonnaise because my older daughter, Russia, she likes mayonnaise. Miranda doesn't like mayonnaise. Yeah, so, I don't care. And I like the butter with the egg yolk tastes better than the mayonnaise, but that's me. So, <laughs> but like I said, everyone does it differently. So, yeah. Alright, so my doubled eggs are done, straightforward and to the point, and I'm about to show you guys the rest of the food. So this is a jerk salmon, it's almost done. I love salmon on the grill, so crispy and juicy, love it. So we got the hot dogs, again we did turkey hot dogs, because we're staying away from the beef and pork for the last year and a half or so. Turkey and uh, vegan burgers, and of course, like I said, if you don't have the char grilled look, you didn't really grill. But mom doesn't really care for the char grilled look or taste, do you? No. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm like, if you're grilling, you need that. We roasted some corn. And these came out really good. And then we got vegan cheese, actually. I love this cheese on top of the Beyond Meat. So really good. Chow Creamery. They have it in this flavor. And they have like a white cheddar kind of one. Baked beans, which we weren't making from scratch. And potato salad, we weren't making that from scratch either. And then we have our Cajun shrimp. And the glazed wings are on the table, but here are two on my mom's plate. So that's everything. My sister came downstairs. She was upstairs working on some projects. Say hey, Michelle. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. So mom, you want to say anything else? I hope you guys are having a good day with your family. Enjoy as much as you can. And thank you for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe. And Christian, what you want to say to them? Bye. All right, say bye. bye. So hit the like button. Bye.